Let's go to the detention center to talk to Matt. You're working really late, dude. It's already past 10 p.m., dude. I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax. Don't you know what ignor the ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. Well, let's talk. Now, let's hear what the secret of yours is. What if Mr. Corda had been successful in this plan? What would have been dis what would have discussed? I told you before, dude, I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright, I can keep this up until I'm blue in the face, but I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on, pal, I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Corda, especially on that night. This bear was in Mr. Corda's room on the night of the murder. A bear that was supposed to be present from a fan. So, it's a present, dude. It's actually, it's kind of classy, if you know what I mean. Yes, I hear it's quite expensive. Which is why it is very odd that this gadget was found inside. This bear. Wait, what? No camera. Okay. Let's just read game. I just can't figure it out. Very small video camera. And it was hidden inside this bear's eye. Maybe it's a really curious bear. Well, whatever this bear saw went somewhere using this transmitter. Which means... Someone on the night of the murder was secretly filling Mr. Cord's room. Ooh. Hmm. I guess wanted a few of those kind of fans too, huh, dude? Actually, I wouldn't say this bear is from a fan. Hmm. You sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person to get this bear was... <coughs> Mr. Ongar. Do you know you know this bear from somewhere, do you? I don't think I've ever met this bear before, dude. Aw, but he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? What else did the bear tell you? He says that the only one who the one who put the camera in his eye was you, now, Mr. Ongard. If I didn't know you work in how you work in court, I'd think I was in some serious trouble. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You just pull my leg. It looks like you're not ready to give up your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof you want to show me first? Here's proof that you wouldn't put the camera inside the bear. Back to evidence. If I can figure out how the heck this is working. The credit card receipt. I have your one credit card receipt, Mr. O'Guy. It's from when you bought that stuff there. Dude, you can tell from this it's about 3,800 3, bucks. I go to the Tartar store all the time, okay? This thing is an 800. That could have been the toothbrush I bought that one time. A, a $3,800 toothbrush. It's ivory. And it's got elephant hair for bristles. Ew. How does... I get that. I don't get it, it's but... Not abuse to it's, it's not abuse. abuse. Well, I don't know. Ew. Elephant hair? What do rich people use nowadays? Anyway, the store clerk clearly remembers you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not? Dude, you should have said that earlier. Ooh. Um, so can I ask you one thing? Yes. You're my lawyer, right, dude? So, if you are, why are you looking into stuff like that? Because if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Sounds more like stupid lawyer talk to me. Hey, let's stop talking about this, okay? No. Not yet. I haven't asked you why you set up the camera yet. And what your secret is, of course, that would be strictly confidential. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find out what I want to know. Because I must. The reason you had this camera type of scores room is... Oh, We need to present. What is this card? Maybe he doesn't know about this card. 
This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly D. Killer, and I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Sh Shelly D. Killer. Th that's ridiculous! Why would I know some shady scumbag like him? If you really don't know him, then why act so jumpy all of a sudden? Um. This is it. Started to get the truth. Can't afford making mistakes. Mr. Mad on guard. I know. I know why you know Mr. Girl. It's because. Your is. Your is client. Since you're the one who set up the camera, that means you knew. You know exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, how? How did you know something like that? It's because you were his client. That's why. You hired Shelly D. Killer to assassinate Mr. Wong Korda. The real master behind this murder is you, Mad Angard. <sighs> and here I was, trying to be a good boy for you, dude. Uh, I thought if I didn't, if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought anyway. Mr. Ongard, you really did hire? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna consult myself, okay? Consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I am Matt on guard. Where do you get that alcohol? In a detention center. Matt's secret. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy for you to gather as much information as you have. You really? So you were Shelly Dickler's client? You don't really think I'll dirty my own hands in this, do you? What do you mean? And that woman, Adrian, was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me, I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that Juan is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? That's... You're lying! What a terrible... It's way past your bedside, little girl. Go on, and let us grown-ups talk about more adult things. Why? Why did you have to hide the video camera in? The weakling soon believes the words of others, just like that pathetic Adrian. He knew about Miss Andrew's secret. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the simple deed over their heads. And a superstar like me, how much do I, how much do you think I'm worth? Care to guess? And, and that's why, yes, that's where the video comes in. I got his face and the crime scene recorded on it, preserved for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay, even blackmail him if I want. That's right, the video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Because I'm a grown-up, and I can. Good enough of an answer for you, little girl. Motive for murder. Why? Why do you kill Mr. Corda? Because he was about to sling so much dung onto my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Corda had been able to give it, then Mr. Ongardi's secret would have... Ah, uh, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know? I had no interest in doing it, really, but bit by bit, it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that's, that's when Mr. Corda ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used. Thrown, used, and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face, and people will swallow up anything you feed them. Adrian fell for it. Adrian fell for it. The assassin, too. Oh, how how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone, all working their butts off for me, mad on guard. Aw, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. 
What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How could I have been so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked you if you had killed Wong Hora. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Hey now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that D killer guy, right? All I'm gonna think of is sticking catnap in my room. You, you, you killed Mr. Corona! <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. <sighs> Aw, but too bad you can't. You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Ah, oh, but you can't, can you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. But, Mystic Maya! You wouldn't want the death to kill her. He's a man of his word. Or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You! You! Scoundrel! So, if I were you, if I were you Mr. Wright, a squire, I think I would give it all my all, my all tomorrow. Remember, Everyone likes a little happy win-win resolution. I get you for this. That's such a cliche phrase. Juan says something just like that, if memory serves. Of course, well, we all know how things turned out for him. Totally. Good night, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs>